let's take a look at an AccuSump over here. You can see a gauge which has a Schrader valve under it, which you use to pressurize this blue canister. The blue canister has a piston in it. And over there you can see the electrical valve, which is powered by the ignition. So that closes and opens the canister. There's another thing over here, which is called the EPC valve, which controls what pressure it operates in our case, 1.5 bar. And the outlet side of it, we have plumbed into the return of the oil cooler with a one way valve. So it cannot flow back into the oil cooler, but flows back into the engine whenever it releases. So what actually is the AccuSump? What it does is it will help you with fluctuations in oil pressure and work as a safeguard for when you suddenly lose oil pressure. It is also a device that you can use to pre-lube when you start up the motor on a cold start and there is no pressure yet from the oil pump. So whether it's a first install or an oil change, this is what you do first. You hook up the Schrader valve to an air compressor and you set it to 60 PSI and there's a piston inside that blue canister and that will move all the way to the far end, which is the oil end, which is close to the bulkhead on our car. The air side, the air end is close to the headlight. So if you put 60 PSI on there, it will push the cylinder and all the fluid out. Then you air it down to anywhere between 10 and 15 PSI. And this kind of depends on what oil pressure your motor makes, it kind of depends on the application. We like to be around 10 PSI because the back pressure on the air side, so the side with this gauge, determines how far that blue canister will fill. It never fills up all the way, but obviously you want to have as much oil in there as possible. However, if the engine would lose oil pressure, if you're on lower PSI on that gauge, it also pushes the oil back slower into the motor. So you don't want to go too low, but you certainly don't want to go too high. So you got to kind of figure out what works for your car. There's no real set thing for it. If you have a, a car with a really healthy oil pressure, you run a little bit thicker oil, then you may want to keep the pressure on that Schrader valve side a little bit higher just to have more power to push that oil back into the engine if anything goes wrong and if you have a race car that has like super thin oil after it gets really hot like if you're on like 230 240 to 50 oil temperatures then yeah you may want to make sure that that Schrader valve is never higher than 10 psi because otherwise it doesn't fill up the canister anymore after you close off that Schrader valve with a cap you start up the motor and let it get to operating temperature Obviously you can see the oil pressure climbing over there. If you fill the sump, obviously the AccuSump is not filled. So by running the motor, you're filling up the AccuSump, which gets it back pressure from the preset load you have over here. And obviously will take some oil out of your pan. So you have to add a little bit of oil after you've done that usually quart and a half or two quarts and now you can see it's running all perfectly and you're ready to use the AccuSump.